Hello and welcome! In this tutorial we are going to cover three very important topics for Python beginners. We will start with variables, then we are going to cover the basic data types that you will use at the beginning and we are going to learn how to get input from the user. Together we are going to combine all of this and create a simple script that converts pounds to kilograms. So first we are going to start with variables. What is a variable? And Well basically you can think of it as a, as a box. So I'm going to create a variable x and I'm going to assign the value 2 to it. So I have a variable x and inside that variable or the variable holds the value of 2. Now if I decide to print x, then the value that I get in my console is 2. Why? Well, what Python does is it takes a look at this variable and then it checks what the value is stored in it. What if I try to print, um, for example, y? And this is an error that you might get if you, for example, misspell the variable. Now, y does not exist, so I get a name error that y is not defined. So it's trying to, what Python does is trying to find y, but actually doesn't exist. So, for example, maybe sometimes you might have, uh, for example, name equals to, I don't know, Hosta. And then when you're printing it out, instead of printing a name, you have a capital N. And then again, Python cannot find that variable. So you should know that variables are case sensitive. So if I have a name uh, with a lowercase and the cap and the uppercase N is completely different. Can you use anything as a variable? Definitely not. As, as you see, the word print is in different color and that's because it has a meaning for Python. It, it means something. It, it is a function. Uh, it, it is the same as if I use, for example, true or false. As you can see, all of these change the color or the word in. So if basically the word changes color, you can't assign a value to it. You can't have a box, a variable named uh, like that. So you should know that if it's black if it doesn't change the color then it's fine otherwise you can't use that one the other restriction that python has is you can't have a, an empty space a variable that has um, basically an empty space in between so for example you can have this as a name but you can't have it as first space name because basically what you get is this invalid syntax error which means Okay, I see here some variable, but then I have no clue what's happening in between here. And then again, you have some other variable and I have no clue what to do in this case. However, you can use underscore. So if you use underscore, that's completely fine. Um, the other part that you can't do is you can't start the variable with, with a number. So you can't have a like one first name because again, that's an invalid syntax. So Always start with a with a letter. Don't have any empty spaces and don't use the words that are already used by Python for something else. Now, before that, I had a, a variable x, which was uh, which I assigned the value two to it, and now I have a first name, which is a, a kind of a different data type. Now. The first one is basically, this is a string, and what a string is, it starts with a quote, it can be single or double quote, and in between it can contain basically any combination of characters. So it could be uh, letters, it could be numbers, it could be basically anything. So this is a string. I'm going to uh, have a variable s, short for string, and I think it will be much easier to explain that way. So I'm going to create one more variable and I'm going to assign the value 2 to it, but as a string. Down here, this one is also 2, but it is missing the quotes. Now, if you're thinking, well, isn't this the same? It's not. And we're going to see what is the difference in a minute. I'm going to create one more string and I'm going to have the value of 5 attached to it. Now, what I have down here is an integer and that is a number. While up here, 
the strings are just a combination of characters. If I create another integer and I assign the value 3 to it, or let's make it identical with the first example, 5, these two are completely different than these two. So if I decide to print S2, so the second string 2, plus S3, I would get a different outcome than if I print the integer, the first integer plus the second integer. And let's see what the difference is. So in the first case, I get 25. So what Python did is it took the two, added five after it, and that's it. So it didn't add the two numbers together. Why? Well, this is not a mathematical function if you have a string. It combines the two values. However, in the second part, we did get the sum of both. So in this case, we have seven. So if you have an integer, an integer is always a, a number and it's always a round number. Now, what if you want to have decimals? Well, in that case, you need a float. I'm going to create an F. I'm going to remove these print statements so we don't run them every time we run the script. And a float is uh, basically a number, but it has a decimal. So it could be 2.5, it could be basically any number with any decimal. It can have as many decimals as you want. Now, how, how do you convert one type to another type? So let's say that you have um, a float and you want it to be an integer or the other way around. And when, when would you actually want to do that? And we will also see that in the final application that we are going to create. So converting from one data type to another is, is not difficult at all. We just need to, for example, let's create uh, integer from the float and the integer, basically the shortcut is int. So we want to create integer from f, from our float number. And also we would like to print it out. The integer that we created from the float. And what you will notice is that, oops, from. So what you will notice is that the output is two. Our float number was two point five, and what it when it got converted to an integer, the outcome was two. Well, what Python does is it completely ignores the decimal point because again integers are whole numbers. So if you have two point five, it completely doesn't care about the decimal. It only takes the two. Now, what if you do it the other way around? What if you have a float from integer and then we would like to get float. So this is the how you convert some data type to float. And we want to convert i, which is two. So we want to take this integer and convert it into float. And then we would like to print this value. What would we get and how, how it impacts our integer? Well, it just adds the decimal point, which is in this case zero. So converting from integer to float is not difficult at all, right? So you just use the int to get integer from the float or the other way around. Now, what you can notice is that you can't convert the name to basically an integer or a float because you can't convert these number these combination of characters to a number but you can do that with these right so let's let's try that i'm going to remove these print statements and i'm going to create a integer from string which would be again integer from s and i'm going to copy this same line i'm going to print i from s and then i'm going to create integer from s2 so from the second string but before that let's let's try to see what we get here if we try to create integer from basically a string which is not a number well we get a value error because it cannot create a number out of this now what if we try to create another integer, but instead of using the name, we use actually a number. 
what if we print this one well in that case is fine that's that completely makes sense because you, it's two as a character you can use it as a number if you switch this to float I'm going to make sure that this is also a good naming convention so float from s2 it would be 2.0 so converting from one data type to another one it's it, it is doable and again you already know what is the difference between integer and float and again s a string is any combination of characters now i'm going to remove all of this because there's one more thing that i want to cover regarding strings we already mentioned that uh, it starts with a quote and it ends with a quote but what if you had uh, for example a sentence inside that contains a quote in it for example um, it's my dog now this if you try to print this or if you try to run this it would get an, a syntax error and why is this the case well python starts reading the code and it sees the first quote and it says oh here's where the string starts but then it sees another one and to it it makes sense that this is your string and then it sees s my dog dot has no clue what this is and then oh here's another quote that you probably start another string here and it, it it's lost it can't make sense of it so how do you get past this well there are two ways the first one is if you use this slash this is an escape character and then if you use this basically whatever is the function of the next character it it's discarded it doesn't matter so if i print this then we would get the it's my dog as outcome now the second solution to this is to use double quotes so if you use double quotes at the beginning and double quotes at the end again that's completely fine because Python starts with double quotes and it searches for the ending double quotes which is here and everything in between is the string all right so now we can we can move to how do we get uh, input from the user of the script how do we store it as a variable and then how to convert for example pounds to kilograms right so first of all let's store um, we're going to ask the user to input a number into pounds so for example the answer could be how much do you weigh in pounds and then we're going to convert it and reply to the user hey uh, you you weigh this much in kilograms so basically we will have the user answer and then what that is is basically the answer to our question and this is how we actually ask for input user input we start with asking for the input in, and in brackets we have basically the string which is our question so in this case it would be what is your weight in or you can do it like this in pounds and we can have a semicolon so if you if you remember um there were already three types of data types that we mentioned so we have the string and what the user will actually input will be a string that's that's the the, the, the default now if we have a default for example if the user says i don't know i weighed 140 pounds and we have that as as a string we can't do anything with it because it's just a number of characters it's same as if we had a name so we, what we need to do is we need to convert this into a number now we have two choices we have uh, a way to convert it into integers which would be a whole number but then if the user has uh, a weight in, that includes decimals then we would lose the decimal so that's not what we want so we basically in this case we need to take this user answer and have it as a float now how do we do that well we can just take all of this and the same way we converted everything into float we can do it here as well next what we need is the ratio 
what would be the ratio between pounds and kilo so i'm going to save it as ratio and uh, it's 0 0.43 I, I know this i've googled it before so this is the ratio of one pound is 0 0.453 kilos right next we would like to print back to the user and what we would like to print is um your weight in kilograms is and now what we want to print and how we print it is basically we end this part of the sentence and then we want to add the user answer divided actually in this case it would be multiplied by the ratio so if the user has i don't know 140 then it would print out 140 multiplied by 0 0.453 and this would cause an error but let's give it a try and then uh, we will we'll get to it as well so it's good to, to see what kind of errors you might get and how to solve them so first of all we get the, the, the question and that that part is good so let's say 140 and then we have an error can only concatenate string and not float to string and what is the reason for this error before we try to combine basically um, two integers or two strings and that went fine because they're same data types but when we're printing we need to print a same same data type in this case we can't combine string with a float number so we need to convert this in string but we still need the mathematical calculation to be applied we still need these two to be uh, multiplied and then to be converted to string so it can be print printed correctly so what we would do in this case is plus string of the product of these two so we want these to remain floats to be calculated and then the answer to be converted to string and then at the end we can add plus and then a dot to end the sentence now if we run this script we get the question and then we get the answer and again the answer is actually string but we see the decimals as well why well before converting it to a string it was a flow so it included the decimals it made the calculation correct and then it converted it into a string so you so we can actually print it out um this would be all for this tutorial and i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below feel free to subscribe for the next tutorials and i'll see you in the next video